linear momentum already you know when something some uh, object or some car or some ball is moving in a straight line right so the mass of that ball of the car that multiplied with the speed of that car or the ball so that becomes a, a linear momentum right so linear momentum normally this is written as uh, p is equal to m times b m is the mass v is the velocity right but today's topic is about the angular momentum so when something is uh, uh, doing rotational motion so we use the concept of angular momentum angular momentum is a little complicated so i i plan one activity for you uh, how to understand the angular momentum okay so i have one activity for you and the activity is that uh, suppose uh, this is a multi story building this is a 20 story building right and on this 20 story building we have this type of arrangement can you see uh, we have just a pencil okay a type of uh, uh, so suppose this is a iron rod right fixed like this over the top of the building and the two students uh, right on either side of this iron rod right they are they are just pulling the rod they are just pulling the rod okay so now suddenly what happens uh, uh, one of the student uh, right that release the row so what will happen the other student that will fall down right that will actually that will die it's a multi story building okay so now in the second case right in the second case uh two students are there over the building right and uh, one student has a pen in his pocket or in her pocket right other student uh, normal student pulling the rope okay so both are pulling the rope so what happened when one of the student released the rope accidentally the pen the pen from his or her pocket that just uh, uh that just uh, uh, connected to the one side of the rope right so now uh, will the other student that will fall down or that the pen or the pencil that will help the student uh, uh the student life <laughs> so i have a little demonstration for you okay the demonstration is very easier and comfortable for you so now imagine we have this uh this is wooden scale okay and suppose that is the pencil okay that is the pencil right tied to the other side and this is the student okay so the arrangement is this and this is that iron rod right because in real life we cannot do the experiment but but in a, in lab we can do the experiment okay so let us see what happens okay 3 2 1 go okay one more time so what are three factors here <laughs> in lab we have the chances but uh, in the real life we don't have the chance right 3 2 1 one more time okay so 3 2 1 so actually physics is working so how this happens let us understand this mathematically right so how this is happening right so let me explain this so first uh, how a pencil can save your life uh, how the physics can save your life uh, right so first we start with the linear momentum okay so first i start with the linear momentum linear momentum right so linear momentum that is p is equal to m times v when something is moving in a straight line right and that mass is m the velocity is v then this is the linear momentum okay right now we also know f is equal to m into a f is equal to m into a newton second law of motion right and we also know a is equal to v final minus v initial divided by time so i can replace my a right so my force that will be equal to m v final minus v initial divided by time right so if i solve this uh, so if i multiply the mass with the right the inside quantity so this will become like this divided by time and we know that mass into velocity that becomes momentum right because this is the final velocity so this becomes the final momentum so i can write f is equal to p final minus this is initial momentum right and divide by time so now p final minus p initial basically that is change in momentum okay that is change in momentum so that can be written as f is equal to dp upon dt right dp upon dt so 
What is this F? Actually, this is the net force on the system. According to the Newton's second law of motion, the net force acting on a system that is equal to mass times acceleration. So, actually, this is a net force. So, the net force that is equal to a rate of change of momentum, right? This is dP upon dt. This is, this is rate of change of momentum, right? Now, all the time. In all the mechanics, in everywhere, all the activities, microscopic or macroscopic, the linear momentum that remains conserved, right? Linear momentum that remains conserved. You must have seen that when the two cars they collide, right? So the conservation of linear momentum is there. So the momentum before the collision of the car that will be equal to the momentum after the collision of the car, right? If you collide the two protons, right, or the two elementary particles, so the momentum before the collisions, right, that will be equal to the momentum. After the collision, that so conservation of momentum that is valid for all the reactions, the chemical, the nuclear, right, or any type of uh, uh, mechanical uh, collision also, right. So now, if P is conserved, right. So if P is conserved, if P is conserved means if P is equal to constant, if momentum remains all the time constant, means if P remains constant, and derivative of a constant that is equal to zero, right, dP upon dt, right. P is momentum, d upon dt that is a derivative of a P. So if we have a constant quantity, so its derivative that comes out to be zero, right? So if the derivative that comes out to be zero, so it means the net force that will be equal to zero, right? This is the uh, this is the um, linear momentum, right? The conservation of linear momentum, right? That shows that the net force uh, acting on the system that will be zero. So let us uh, uh, do the angular momentum, right? Now again by taking F is equal to m into a, right? Force is replaced by torque in the rotational motion. Okay, now mass is replaced by moment of inertia I. Linear acceleration is replaced by angular acceleration. Angular acceleration is alpha. Okay, so this is this a is a linear acceleration. Okay, every time every time we are just uh, are doing the same formula, so it is a linear acceleration, right? And alpha is a angular acceleration. This is angular acceleration. Angular acceleration. Okay, so here I use the formula linear acceleration, right? That is equal to v final minus v initial divided by Time. This is linear velocity, final linear velocity, initial linear velocity divided by time. Right? The same formula I will use here. So tau that will be equal to I times omega final, final angular velocity, because this is a angular acceleration, minus initial angular velocity divided by time. The same formula I will use. So now the torque that will be equal to I times omega F minus I times omega i divided by t right and what is this i times omega f this is angular momentum right this is angular momentum so tau is equal to angular momentum that can be written as l okay and because this is final angular velocity so i will write final angular momentum right minus initial angular momentum divided by time okay so we are using the concept of uh, angular momentum L is equal to I into omega, right? Angular momentum, this is angular momentum, angular momentum. So our topic is a pencil can save your life. Actually, angular momentum can save your life, right? Angular, this L can save your life, right? I will explain you, but before that, let us explain this. So L final minus L initial. I can take uh, uh, P final minus P initial. This is linear momentum. Okay, L1 P final minus P initial. This is final linear momentum. This is initial linear momentum. This is final angular momentum. This is initial angular momentum. So the torque that becomes equal to a change in angular momentum and change in angular momentum that can be written as dL and this time can be written as dt. Okay. So like in the linear motion, I use the net force that is equal to rate of change of linear momentum. In the rotational motion, it is a net torque that is equal to rate of change of angular momentum. Right? Again, we will use the same concept. If the angular momentum that is constant, 
okay if the angular momentum l is constant so the net torque the net torque on the system that will be equal to zero so now by this formula i i will explain you how a pencil can save your life right we can up l1 pay attention so we know i is equal to i is equal to mr square right so when i use this system when i use this system in this system we have a pencil here okay just a pencil here right so this is assume this is the axis okay when the pencil is at certain distance r right this is the r okay so as the pencil approaches this axis of rotation means as r is reducing as r is reducing it means i is also reducing the moment of inertia is also reducing and as i reduces to conserve the linear momentum omega has to increase why the pencil that st that starts rotation over this scale to conserve the angular momentum right why i is decreasing omega has to increase what is omega angular speed has so the linear speed of the pencil michela are you getting my point yeah. the linear speed because the pencil is uh, doing the linear motion as it approaches to the axis the linear speed of the pencil that change that is replaced by the angular speed to conserve the linear momentum i repeat it again as the pencil as the pencil you see as the pencil right again i try okay so one more time one more time why there is some problem okay so 3 2 1 okay so as r decreases so as r decreases right distance of the pencil from the axis reduces so it means i also reduces as i reduces then omega has to increase so as to make l constant so this is how the conservation of angular momentum uh, that can save the life right so this l is angular momentum that is equal to i into m okay okay so uh, one one student is there on the chair and other student will give a rotational motion to this student right so uh, the physics says that if the student uh, stretches uh, his hands then the speed that should uh, lower and again when it takes the hands closer to his body then the speed that should increase right because when the student is taking the hands away so r increases right so uh, as r increases i also increases so as i increases right that omega should decrease means by stretched hand right the stretched hand that should work like a braking system that is reducing your speed right when you are stretching your hands it means uh, uh, you are applying a retardation right you are applying a braking force and when you are again right bringing you are taking your hands again closer to your body so it means r decreases again the i decreases so i decreases to conserve l omega has to increase it means now you it means you are working like a engine okay you are accelerating your body right so stretching means retardation and just normal acceleration okay so let us do okay mikela okay 3 2 1 one more one more one more one more okay now go away go away go away so alwan can you feel that okay there is a change right there is a retardation when you stretch and there is a acceleration when you again take it normal right if we increase the speed quite high then uh, means that should be easily observable right at a low speed at a low speed the, ob the observation you can just feel but you can feel but the other person that will not observe that okay that's it